character analysis of Spandom from the One Piece CP9 saga. Although I have not finished One Piece, I think we finished with Spandom at least, so I believe I can confidently analyze his character. Because despite how one-dimensional he seems, I think he's actually quite complex. He's also my second favorite villain that I've encountered in One Piece so far. And yes, there's more to his personality than he's crazy and evil. Because to a certain degree you can say that about most One Piece villains. Another thing that you can generally say about most One Piece villains is that they enjoy watching people suffer. But Spandom brings this enjoyment to a new level. He goes out of his way to inconvenience himself just so that he can see people suffer more. I think that if he didn't have this aspect of his personality, there's a chance he actually may have been successful. His taunting is what gave Robin the opportunity to talk with the Mugiwara crew on the rooftop. So therefore, she came to the realization that she wanted to live, and if she hadn't come to that realization, then she wouldn't have struggled to get away from him while he had to physically drag her to the boat. Plus, he had to often stop and laugh diabolically at her expense when he was just delaying them further. It's no secret that Spandam failed miserably as a big bad because Luffy's final battle was against Luchi, not Spandam. But it's also no secret that Spandam didn't really earn his position as boss of CP9. It was given to him by his father. Admittedly, Spandam's father was also a terrible person and bad at his job, but he seemed to have at least a few skills as a soldier. Spandam was just worthless in not only the human department, but also as a soldier. Additionally, he was so focused on what he wanted to happen that he wasn't focusing on what was currently happening. He thought that transporting Robin from Ennis Lobby to a boat would make him a hero. And really, why shouldn't he think that? He gets credit for other people's work all the time, and he got his position by someone just handing it over to him. So why wouldn't he think that just by doing the bare minimum he could become a hero? So maybe he's not as crazy as we like to think he is. <laughs> no, he's definitely super crazy. There's no getting around that. But there is a reason for his craziness. As the saga went on, we witnessed his gradual descent into insanity as he lost control of everything going on around him. As he tried to regain that control but continuously failed, that's what led to all that brilliant laughter. And of course, his eventual downfall. He was defeated by Robin and Frankie, and although I loved him, I was very happy to see him explode at the end. So that's all for that. Let me know if there are any other characters or things or whatever that you want me to take a look at, and I'll see what I can do. Bye!